What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another late night, another epic. Um, this one we're going to be watching. I'm pretty sure everybody's going to find it to be pretty cool. We're going to be watching Cool Hand Luke with Mr. Paul Newman, Butch Cassidy, and the Sundance Kid. You bet I'm going to watch that as well because that just looks awesome. So <laughs> I guess we're just diving straight into it. Um, yeah, I don't know much about this film. I, besides there being an egg scene, I was very much tempted to boil some eggs and eat it along, except I think that would you know, borderline on a little bit, you know, ridiculousness. Um, but, you know, maybe some other time. But uh, I'm definitely excited to watch this film by the poster itself. It just looks graphically so attractive. And yeah, I'm I'm quite excited to see this picture. No Big Willie with us today. Excited. Captain, we are a go. A rather interesting start to the film. Again, the the word violation probably has something to do with the picture. You better come along with us. <laughs> what, what a what an interesting way to show the, the the title card, you know, and his necklace being a bottle opener. Checking my yo-yo, boss. The music is very conflicting with, you know, the amount of hard work that is being displayed. Fantastic shot. Just by the reflection of the sunglasses, you see Paul Newman enter into this confinement or, or prison. Maliciously destroying municipal property while under the influence, sir. What was that? Cutting the heads off of parking meters, Captain. In comparison, it's not so much a violation compared to everybody else's. Suppose it, you know, um, why they're here. Of course, in case you get rabbit in your blood and you decide to take off for home, you get a bonus this in time and set a leg chains to keep you slowed down just a little bit. <laughs> if you get rabbit in your blood, never heard it described that way. It's funny to see Lucas with that slight smile, very slight smile on his face. There's no plain grab or fighting in the building. You got a grudge against another man, you fight him Saturday afternoon. Any man playing grab or fighting in the building spends a night in a box. You, you have a problem with them, you fight them Saturday afternoon? I'm Carr, the floor walker. I'm responsible for order in here. Any man don't keep order spends a night in the box. Quite the list of things to keep in mind. Might as well just be in the box. <laughs> well, there's a lot. When I was in the Navy, we had All to you new meats. You're going to have to shape up fast and hard to this gang. We got rules here. Yeah, it almost seems like there's already a preset fr a fraternity. Doesn't matter where you're from, whether we have served the country or not. Like, when you're here, you start fresh. Of course, Dennis Hopper is here. Yes, he he's well. He's a seminal part of the '60s, specifically like um, with Easy Rider and you know the whole revolution of the '60s turning into the '70s. So it's good to see him here. I'll give you fifty cents. Fifty cents for a sweet job like that? That's worth at least a buck. I'll make it a dollar. Dollars a day. Look at that. They're they're wagering on on lighter load, lighter labor. But I made this arrangement. Get to work. <laughs> there is no such arrangement when you have to deal with the boss. Hey, take it easy. You won't last two hours. I think you'll probably last longer. Van Bear caught here, boss. He wasn't lying about his shape. And, you know, to see the ditch work, very labor-intensive. You on? 
Hey, Babaluga, got a bed here. That's another great shot, just in itself. I think he just said something. Again, we went to his sunglasses. It's like, yeah, he doesn't talk, but he just talked. Boss Paul says you wasn't happy with your job. Oh, no. That you was complaining. Oh, the... Well, we're going to give you a chance to think about it. What are these... It's funny, whenever we look through the sunglasses, it almost looks like a extremely, you know, objective, very harsh look at these inmates, a harsh look at reality. Look like the hard road finally got to Mr. Lucas War Hero. I'll be back at it in the morning, just need a little nap. Man, I never thought they'd put him in the box on his first day. And that also, nobody vouched for him. Yeah, them poor old bosses need all the help they can get. Trying to say something. You got <laughs> Just as he was going to say something, it was masked out. It, it almost goes to what he was saying before. Nothing important to say, give no ear to it. <laughs> the, the image is just trapped in their mind, or they're holding on to it. And the music, that was cool that the music just went in and went out. Okay, new meat, you get some sleep. And save your strength, cause you're gonna need it. Namar. As much as, as, much as the, the old head is a little bit, you know, of a veteran, and, you know, Lucas is the new meat, they both almost seem like alpha males. And <laughs> there, there is this interesting chemistry that they have together. He's almost putting up no defense. He's probably going to be laid out on the floor by the end of this. It seems like he's just hitting him to aggravate him more and to provoke him more to punching him harder. And they're not even stopping it. It gets to the point where everybody's turned off by it. You beat. You gonna have to kill me. I think that's going to that's what's going to win his respect. Almost like a drunk state of mind. He's just wandering. And he still has the slight grin on his face. Maybe he knows what he's doing. I call. You gotta see a camera. You gotta. I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, I'm sleeping. <laughs> Everybody is already gathered around for the anticipation. What's his hand? Kick it back up. 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 He's gonna fold. Well, come on. What See you gonna it, do? Man. Play like a you coconut? Gotta, no, you got to call him, innit? <laughs> and what would be amazing is if Luke's hand is just nothing. Oh, right up, right? <laughs> <laughs> a handful of nothing. <laughs> a handful of nothing. <laughs> it was all the anticipation. It bullied him with the with the no poker face. Sometimes nothing can be a real cool hand. Interesting line. Right, I'm in this news. A sort of important shot. Unbuckles it, drinks the whole bottle while he just won, does not celebrate, just downs a bottle, and then we transition into work. She don't have no hopes nor love to, to give her pain. She just don't give a what an interesting way to see parenthood. Gotta love you and let go. Hmm? I guess. I ain't asking what you're gonna do when you get out because I'll be dead and it don't matter. Wait, in two years she's already anticipating she'll die. What went wrong? Nothing, everything's cool as can be. No. 
cool hand look. <laughs> he sees this as cool. No, I don't. Uh, well, at least it's not. Sometimes you just, you just have a feeling for a child. This is probably one of the most realistic, but at the same time awkward experiences to me of a mother and a son speaking that are sort of estranged and don't know what to do with the time they have left. Now there ain't nothing to come back for. Just a closer walk with thee. Great Jesus is my plea. Wow, what an angle. Again, we're having a bird's eye perspective while we're having like a hymn or, or uh, a worship song happening. You know, that last line, now there's, yeah. I don't know, it's just a strange feeling. You can you just feel sad for him. If I fall, dear Lord, who cares? Who but thee my burden shares? Interesting, I, I was just thinking of like, the, the Psalms of David, and when it just went so close to him, you know, when he was talking about who, who would care for the sorrows, none but the, you know, I, I love that actor in Paris, Texas, um, really enjoyed his performance. So that was an interesting segment in itself, just to have that close up. Man won't see, let's just give it to him. And then break it off. Yeah. Go hard. Yeah. <laughs> he has some type of charm to him. But I understand why they said it was back baking exercise because, man, there's a lot of turning with the spine. The man, boy, get the man. Open it up here, boss. Open it up here, boss. <laughs> it's almost like they have their own competition. I think they're all bear caught. The road is long, but they have the energy. Oh, what is he going to shoot at now to get their attention? Where'd the road go? That's it. That's the end of it. Man, there's still daylight. About two hours left. Oh, what do they do with the extra two hours? <laughs> you crazy handful of them. <laughs> he actually pushed them to work harder and they didn't even realize it. Rusty nails and it thing. If you be so kind and let me cut off your Yankee head, he'll eat me that. <laughs> He's now his advocate. My boy says he can eat 50 eggs, he can eat 50 eggs. Yeah, but in how long? The hour. My boy, <laughs> in an hour. Wow. All right, get your money up. Now, gamble a dynamite. Come on, get it up. Coconut Head's going to take all the money. Come on, loudmouth, get it up. Oh, wait just a minute. I like you that. You know, their relationship is just growing extremely organically. 39. That seemed a nice round number. Luke, that's money you're talking about. What's the matter with you? The, the human body can't even take it. It seems like he pushes himself to extremes just to see, well, I don't know what he's doing necessarily what's his whole idea wait a second what we gotta do is stretch that little old belly of yours <laughs> do it man <laughs> 20 of those he's not gonna take it <laughs> look at him go I'm his trainer. I'm the syndicate covering all bets, and I'm his official egg peeler. That's the law. Wait, they wanted to count the the peeling the egg within the hour. Ready? Go. <laughs> Even the floor walker is there. Under four. <laughs> I like that there's the harmonica sound over it. It's such a blues country type of labor, blue collar worker vibe. Hey, What's wrong? I think he's gonna throw up. Oh, no. That's it. He's finished. That's finished. 
Uh, you can even visibly see his gut expanding to the point of past his limit. I want to hear from some big money men. Where's all the high rollers? Well, I believe you've got it all, Dragline. Every cent in camp is riding. <laughs> he just looks at him. <laughs> he wants all the high rollers. <laughs> he smiles and goes right back to it. Going down into the tummy. <laughs> He's just plopping it into his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much writing on this in terms of money. Chew, chew, chew. You're helping him chew now. I'm not oh, eating oh, Tony's oh, head. Oh, oh, 42. Six minutes left, and he still has eight eggs. All right now. You know, they're almost helping him, <laughs> like, implode. This, it's not healthy. It's crazy. They're they're even feeding him when he's lying down. Come on, pull the times up. Ten, nine, eight, 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 seven, six. Oh, that was a great shot. He didn't swallow the last. No, he didn't swallow. You think so, huh? What? Well, let's take a look here. Open that mouth. Hey, a clean mouth. <laughs> Fifty eggs in an hour. That, that, now that's that's sort of the the unfortunate thing is <laughs> it almost looks like he's crucified, but everybody just left. Man, you sure can shoot. Boy, doesn't say anything. Shoots the head of a snake clean off. Love me, hate me, kill me, anything. Just let me know it. Standing in the rain. Talking to myself. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know why he's reminding me a lot of David. His mother's dead. How are they gonna console him? Going 90, I ain't scary cause I got the Virgin Mary assuring me that I won't go home. Interesting song he picked. Interesting that he repeated the whole thing. I did sense that there was some aggressiveness to the second time he sang it. 21. 22. Three. They have a very harsh system. Uh, the whole suspecting that they might have rabbit in their blood. He goes to the box. Hmm, what is he up to? Uh, an escape plan, probably. But uh, it's interesting that they let him out a day before July 4th. All right, all right. Last bell, last bell. A sufficient, you know, distraction. 48, boss. One in the box, one in the bush. 48, one in the box, one in the bush. Okay, so he did, he did get through. Let's see if the, the hound will catch up to him. Look at him. It's like it's a, it's a type of a course. He's just jumping over fences, you know, climbing over wires. <laughs> and he has a big smile on his face. <laughs> I was expecting to see Luke. Well, good thing is he's still on the run. He's dead. He run himself from the dead. <laughs> he's probably a hero now to all the convicts. Get in line, facing the captain. Ah, oh, they caught him. Don't you never stop listening to them clinking. They're gonna remind you of what I've been saying. Are you on good? Wish you'd stop being so good to me, Captain. Wait, what is that? <laughs> what? Some men you just can't reach. So you get what we had here last week, which is the way he wants it. Well, we don't really know how he was caught. You're getting so you smell so bad I can track you myself. 
Yeah, well, that ought to be easy for a genuine son of a... Although the little he does say, it does land on some type of reception. He leaned over and said, hey, it's top five police work, that's all there is to it. Fellow's probably a lieutenant by now. They're looking up to him, sort of. Oh no, why would he need his gun? <laughs> Ah, I'm, I'm assuming he's going to draw a thread line for like an escape plan where to like, I guess like a, a, like a path to follow. You're kidding me. I did not anticipate him to run so quickly again. You couldn't have an axe. Can to. I bet you can't. Can too. Bet you can't. <laughs> that, well, that's one way to get it. An axe. To provoke him. To bring an axe. Now listen, you're gonna have some fun. You hear that? Well, you remember how them dogs do when they come through here, so you can tell me about it someday, okay? Ah, uh, smart. Smart. Well, that, that will at least distract the dogs for a good while and throw off his scent. Sorry, you got anything? Magazines. Hey, Coco, who sent me magazines? It'll be interesting if it's from a uh, Luke. Oh, My baby, we in here digging and dying. He's out there living and live. <laughs> <laughs> living live. <laughs> Playing it cool. You're kidding me. Again? He's back in again? Will he just, he just send them the magazine? Which, interesting barter system between a cold drink and a picture, and just a picture. How you think, buddy? How you think? Maybe he can't hear you, man. Somebody ought to get him something cold to drink. Here. That's my baby. That's my baby. Uh, every chance he's gonna die, he doesn't. <laughs> get out to yourself! Stop feeding off me! Stop feeding off me. Go, go out yourself. If that's not motivation. And now they have their eye on him, even when he's taking a break. You want to spend a night in a box, too? I, I, at least among all of this. Where? You know, amongst how harshly they're treated. You know, Luke is sort of the... the ideal, you know, maybe this could work. Maybe this could work if we escape. Th that's their ideal idol, I guess. Hey, how cool is that they're actually helping him finish his food? <laughs> Whoa! What do you do now? What do you do now? Let the midnight special shine an ever loving light on me. <laughs> if this is their idea of reforming someone by pushing them to the you know complete physical you know limit it, it's i'm not so sure if that was how it was back at the time but it's extremely harsh <laughs> Boy, he just keeps standing up. He gives, he keeps giving them a reason to, you know, I don't know, punish him. Well, nobody can keep him down. And certainly digging all the way into a grave is not going to keep him down either. I do you say, but I can't take anymore. You got your mind right, Luke? Yeah. That he comes to this cry and they say, okay, you have your mind right. You're finally going to God. I won't, I won't, boss. I suppose that's exactly what he will do. I might be wrong, but that's what he's going to do. He's going to try to attempt another one to the point where 
he will be probably gunned down. And it was interesting when he was still in sort of the ditch, you know, the, the marshal with his glasses actually had them off and there was just a light shining. I don't know that I could, you, probably there, somebody could deconstruct that shot. It's almost like they turned on him for getting his mind right and bowing to the tyranny. They almost liked him when he was a, a rogue renegade runner with the rabbit blood. Where are you now? I mean, everybody used him for their own delight, their own desire to gain more money. Everybody's looking at him as an idol, as a renegade. Because I don't know what it might do for them or are they generally happy that he just escaped? But hopefully he actually does something for them. Luke, fetch the rifle. Are you kidding me? They're letting him fetch the rifle. Go fetch it, Luke. I mean, he's a good shot. He is a good shot. Probably that it would get some people to be scared of him. <laughs> there you go. Go for it. Go for it. It took the keys off a dog boy's truck. Smart. The keys here too. Smart. Smart. <laughs> and again, we go to the sunglasses. Don't hit me, boss. Don't hit me. I'll do whatever you say, only don't. <laughs> He's starting to impersonate him now. I've done enough world shaking for a while. You do the rest of it for me. Send me a postcard about it. But Luke. Take it easy, drag. Where are you going? Again, it seems like he's going to go back in. It's only appropriate. The thunder, the thunder again where when it was first raining, he was like, that was his first, you know, interaction like to us where he was talking specifically to God. Now, thunder speaks again and there's a church. You made me like I am. I just, where am I supposed to fit in? All of this is just the right sentiment. War hero comes back, doesn't know where to fit in. Aw, oh, he didn't get away. Uh, we only been gone a couple hours. They're reasonable, man. Well, he doesn't believe the rules and regulations, the bosses and everybody. All th everything is just vain. Well, they did say they were going to shoot him. What we got here is a failure to communicate. Man, that's tough. That's tough. I'm taking him to the prison hospital. But that's an hour away. He ain't gonna make it. Get out of the way. He's our. And there's the smile. The glasses, sunglasses are off. Boy, he's, it's almost like he cracked them before he, they cracked him. What do he look like, Greg? Yeah, Greg, what do he look like? He had his eyes open and closed, Dad. He was smiling. Now he's a legend. He's a natural born world shaker. And now he has the chains. He was just in a, a moment of time for them. And again, the last shot. It's like, it's like an angel just flying back, backwards. It's like, that's, I was gonna say that. He, it's like he's almost an angel. What an ending. Thoughts. <laughs> Boy, the, this, this film takes quite a bit of trying to wrap your head around what is it exactly trying to get at. I mean, you have the, the titular line, you know, um, that he was when he was playing gambling at the very beginning. Sometimes nothing is the coolest hand. And I, I, I can't wrap my hand around what he meant necessarily by that. 
the fact that he almost had no ties, no, no nothing, nothing anymore. He wasn't serving anyone. He wasn't, he didn't have any children. He didn't have any girl, mother, father, passed away, was completely, you know, alien towards almost anything to the point where he gets, well, he does very petty crime, you know, disturbing municipal property goes into an existing brotherhood, if you will. And then that's where he suddenly becomes this, this smiling, cool hand Luke, where he still has nothing. He has nothing to live for. And I guess, you know, just all the more reason to know why he's here, to see if there's a purpose. Um, I, I don't I, I it, this is a hard one to wrap my head around it's such a cool film because he makes it look so like his bravado his charisma makes this film so approachable but at the same time it is not it is not that film it is not the it's not the film I'm thinking of where cool poster and Paul Newman's in it no it's it's um it's a dour film. It, there's heavy themes of, you know, salvation and, you know, um, like running from, well, I don't know, family and, and setting yourself apart and being in service to, I don't know, the authority. Um, at least a lot of, I don't know, he just kept reminding me of David, especially when David was on the run. Um, and every time he went on the run, we don't really know exactly why he was caught. Maybe he was caught, as he had said, or at the very last moment. I, I guarantee he probably had the opportunity to outrun them, even outrun the police. But he didn't. Um, all for the sake of, you know, I... Uh, the consequence, the whole thing about, you know, he doctored the magazine. I don't... I, how? How did he do, how did he do that? Um, how could he have written it uh, with the signature, the magazine with a signature? How could he have done that? Uh, so th there's there's part, bits and parts of it that are, you know, uh, not fitting entirely in my head. It's not. Uh, I don't think it's that kind of a movie where you know you walk away completely hundred percent understanding everything. Um, but I will say this: it is going to leave an impression in me. You know, uh, this this smiling blue eyed guy who just would not bow down, would not stay down, would keep getting back up until he's shot at the very end. It's the only thing that can keep him down, except, I don't know, the very last shot, it ascends. <laughs> so uh, that was suggestive. But do let me know um, your thoughts. I'm pretty, pretty sure I'm wrong on a lot of stuff. If I'm not, just, yeah, let me know. I'm so curious about what people have to say about this film. It is a beautiful, beautifully shot film. Like, there's some great cinematography in it, uh, despite its heavy subject matter. But yes, do let me know what you think. And yeah, until I catch you on the next one. Bl oh, bless you. What's up, you cinephiles? Thank you very much for making it to the very end. Me and Big Willie don't take that for granted. We really appreciate you. Now, if you'd like to show your support to us, you know what you can do up here. You can smash that button, really just smash it. And you know, if you would like to check out some more content, they're all curated by days up over here and playlists. So you know what? We hope you're having a great day. Don't crumble and just continue to smile and be a good bastion of cinema.